Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be reviewing HitFilm Pro 2017. Now if you're new to this piece of software then this is the perfect video for you. I'll also have links in the description below uh, for two videos about the new features of this program for people who already use HitFilm in the past and also a basic tutorial of this program. So let's begin. A quick note to all my subscribers I will have a HitFilm 4 Express tutorial uh, coming out in the near future. So the next video that I output will be a HitFilm 4 Express tutorial. So we're going to divide this video into four parts. The first part is going to be a part on what HitFilm is and what it's designed for. The second part is going to be taking a look at some of the good things about it and some of the bad things about it. And then the third part is going to be comparing it with competitors such as Premiere and Final Cut. And the fourth part is going to be giving a final verdict, including the price uh, and competition inside that verdict. So HitFilm Pro 2017, and indeed the whole HitFilm lineup, is designed to be a mixture of a standard video editor and a visual effects compositor. So the idea is that rather than switching between different programs such as the, in the Adobe Suite, you switch between Premiere and After Effects and even Audition, instead you all have it in one program, um, which is really great. Now, HitFilm is really quite easy to use. If you already use other editing programs, free or not, you should definitely be able to grasp HitFilm's workflow pretty quickly. In part thanks to the fact that it's all in one package, again, instead of two or three that you have to learn. You start in HitFilm by importing your media. Then you trim it in the trimmer, and then you move it into the editing timeline uh, and cutting it and moving it around just like in any other program. Then you apply audio and effects uh, inside of your editor for creating your visual effects in places that HitFilm calls composite shots uh, before applying finishing touches such as color grading, music, foley, and more, and finally exporting. Now this is all really easy when compared to other systems because as I've already said and I probably will say a lot of times in this video, it's all in one system which dramatically speeds up this process. Now HitFilm Pro 2017 also comes with Ignite Pro 2017, which is a plugin pack for After Effects, Premiere, Final Cut Pro, Motion, Sony Catalyst, DaVinci Resolve, Foundry's Nuke, Grass Valley's Edius, Avid's Media Composer, and of course Vegas Pro 14. And it comes with over 150 effects that are customizable and are designed to be used in your existing editor or compositor that we've listed above. Now you might ask why this exists if you can just do everything in HitFilm, but the effects in this pack are exactly the same as those in HitFilm, and you know, if you just prefer to use Premiere as an editor, then you can have the power of HitFilm's effects right inside of Premiere. So let's have a look at some of the really great things about HitFilm. The first thing is, most obviously, um, you know, as I said I was going to repeat a lot in this video, the fact that HitFilm is all in one package, and this means that you don't have to switch between apps. Um, you know, I've already talked about this. Another great thing about this is that it's really powerful. So the editing features in his film are now on a really professional level, with new J and L cuts, HK video compatibility, and 32-bit floating point color support, which all means that you can make much better cuts and import and edit video in high resolution and quality. Now one of the new features is some great audio improvements. And in some of the much older versions of HitFilm, their audio features were quite lacking, but now HitFilm is more at a professional level. They have automatic auto sync, just like in Final Cut, so that you can automatically sync high quality audio and scratch audio in a great image to get a great image and audio together in one uh, video file without having to manually sync them together, which is really, really great. Additionally, they've got a six track audio editor now, including a master track to fine tune levels to really have a look at what you're doing much better. Also, HitFilm has some really great color grading tools with awesome presets, a really easy cine filter, and advanced levels, curves, and a three-way color correctors. They've also added professional level color scopes to read your color as well, which you can even export into your video if you want. So HitFilm has got some really, really powerful compositing and visual effects tools as well, which is, in my opinion, really where HitFilm shines. They've got over 500 effects and presets, which is just amazing because they're all in really, really high quality. Um, they're really good, really usable effects that you'll probably really love if you start using this program. Now, in addition to all of the effects, they've got all the tools as well that you need to composite everything together. 
So they've got really advanced keyframing with interpolation and graphs and more to edit your animations really well, as well as native 3D import, which is something that even After Effects can't do. Now additionally with this ease of use thing, you can have 3D models and 2D files all interact in the same workspace, which again makes it really easy to use and learn. They've also got both FX 3D Title Studio and 3D Objects plugins, which are great for creating high quality 3D text right inside of HitFilm without having to go to a 3D modeling app. Also, tracking is really great in HitFilm. They've got really advanced 2D tracking, as well as inbuilt Mocha for 3D planar tracking, which is just amazing. So, with all these positives, how can there be any negatives? Well, let's see. One thing that some people complain about is editing speed. Now, I do have issues with this, um, as do others. HitFilm is just quite slow, quite laggy sometimes when editing, um, and when you compare it with programs like Premiere, it doesn't really quite get up to that standard. When you compare it with programs like Final Cut Pro X on a Mac, there's just no way, it's just so slow compared to Final Cut, so it is quite a bit of a slow program. HitFilm is also just simply not advanced as some other editors that cost the same price. So while they're improving in every single update that comes out, including this newest update, Hit FX Home and HitFilm are still really new to the game, uh, compared to companies such as Adobe, which has been here since like the 90s. Although HitFilm has over 500 effects, the merging of the visual effects and editing software features has sort of dulled it down to a program that is highly capable, but just not quite as capable as programs such as After Effects or Premiere. We'll talk a bit about this later as well. Audio is still something that could be improved in HitFilm. So sure, they've greatly improved audio in this version, adding a six-track editor and automatic syncing, but it simply doesn't have the power of programs such as Adobe Audition that can be used together with Premiere. It's a dedicated audio application, so although HitFilm can do everything in once, you just don't have the power that something like Audition does have. Also, one particular feature that bugs me about HitFilm Pro is that you can't add effects or adjust properties of audio tracks themselves. Instead, you have to create a preset for the effect or effects that you want to duplicate and apply the effect manually to each audio clip. By the way, the same applies for video effects too. If you have a color grade and you want to apply to a whole track, you can't. And you can't really group multiple clips into a composite shot very easily, so applying color correction or effects to multiple clips in HitFilm is sort of a bummer. So that's really all the bad stuff that I could think of in HitFilm. Now it's time to really give it a more in-depth comparison uh, with some of its nearest competitors. So have a look at this graph of sorts. Now the further right we go, the more advanced and the more detailed programs we'll find, yet they'll also be harder to use and more time consuming. The further left we go, the less complicated and easier to use the programs will become, but they will be sort of dulled down in features. Now on the very right hand side we have professional level apps such as Avid Media Composer, a professional video editor, and Nuke by the Foundry, which is mainly a compositing program. On the very left, we have Final Cut Pro and Motion for Mac. Now, Final Cut is really just like a pro version of iMovie, with all the necessary advanced features for making films, but if you have a really big production, then it is going to be a bit annoying. Now, somewhere in the middle here, we've got the Adobe Suite. Uh, it's super advanced, and you can do an absolute ton of stuff with it, but it's also relatively easy to use. In this sort of mix, we'll put HitFilm, Vegas Pro 14, and Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve. Now, firstly, if you haven't checked any of these other apps out, just go do so right now because they're really great apps, and I would recommend pretty much all of them. But HitFilm is somewhere in the middle here. It's designed to be a fairly easy to use program, but also provide a ton of features for the professional filmmaker. Now, I'm going to get a now I'm going to get rid of a few of these apps because there's only some of these systems that can do both visual effects and editing like HitFilm. So these are Apple's Final Cut and Motion, Adobe's Suite, and of course HitFilm. So if you want to do visual effects and editing in the one system, which to me sounds like a very good idea, these are your three options. Final Cut and Motion are pretty basic. and Motion's visual effects features shy in comparison to that of HitFilm and After Effects. If you want, we can also put HitFilm Express in there as it has similar capabilities to that of Motion. 
Now HitFilm Pro is actually comparable with After Effects in terms of visual effects, by default anyway. But there are a ton of plugins that you can get for After Effects that just about make it one of the most advanced compositors of the market. And in this respect, it can easily beat HitFilm. Now probably the main reason for this is that After Effects has just been there for a lot longer than HitFilm. So we might start to see a lot of really cool stuff um, happening around HitFilm. Loads of really cool plugins that we might be able to see in the future. But for now, After Effects just has so much more uh, expansion capabilities. You can do so much more with it. But HitFilm, on the hand, other hand, is in the middle. Um, you know, it's a system that will suit pretty much everyone because it really nicely balances easy, quick editing and powerful tools together. So here is the summary. HitFilm Pro 2017 is a really fantastic editing and visual effects software. I would really recommend it to anyone, but in particular, those who want to make really high quality videos, but also in an easy and stress-free manner. Now again, if you want to create stuff that's just that next level up, I might recommend going for the Adobe Suite. But if you don't really need all of the visual effects powers and all of that of HitFilm, you just want a really nice uh, editing application, maybe it's best to go with something like Final Cut Pro, um, and Emotion. Now I understand that 90% of you guys will be Windows users, um, so for that you should probably just stick with HitFilm 4 Express if you don't need the really advanced uh, visual effects that HitFilm Pro offers. So HitFilm seems like the best thing you could get in the world, right? But here's the catch, HitFilm is $350. That's US dollars, so that's, that's quite expensive. Now Final Cut Pro is $300. Um, and Motion is, I believe, $50? Um, I'll have to go check on that, but it's around that sort of price. Um, and the Adobe Suite depends on whether you're a student and whether you get different plans, but I think that you have to pay around $20 a month uh, if you want to get Premiere. So, is your film really worth it if it's so much money? Well, in my opinion, it really just depends on your needs, and I can't just say to you, yes, your film is totally worth it. Now, for a lot of people, it will be. Um, but for most people, I would say that the Express version uh, will probably be enough because HitFilm Pro 2017 um, is really quite a heavy application designed for really professional people. So if you really want to you know, take your content up to that next level, then HitFilm Pro sounds like a great place to go. But um, for most people, Express will cut it. Now, if you haven't really used Express versions of HitFilm, and the pro versions, the one I would recommend is you download Express and you start using that, but you also download a trial version of HitFilm Pro and you use that as well. Of course, you could also go with programs such as uh, Vegas Pro 14 or something, uh, but I don't have much personal experience with that, so I can't recommend that program over something like HitFilm because I haven't used it. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want a tutorial, of this program, or a video outlining all the new features of this program uh, when compared to its previous uh, version, HitFilm 4 Pro, then all the links to those videos will be in the description uh, as soon as those videos come out anyway. So thank you guys for watching, my next video will be an express video, and I will see you guys there. Stay shiny, bye!